<laughs> I love embarrassing myself in front of the internet. internet. <laughs> Your voice cracked. I know. Hi friends, it's Steven and I'm here with my sister Rachel. Today we're going to try something which was on YouTube like last year or two years ago and was really big there, but I don't see it that much anymore and it's still hilarious. So my sister and I are going to be trying the Speech Jammer. Um, I downloaded the Dearticulator app and um, Rachel and I are going to go back and forth reading different books or newspaper articles and stuff and we're going to see how well we do. Okay? It's going to be so fun! So much fun. All the funs. Rachel is ready to start reading You Guys Chemistry. Are you ready to go? Yes. Let's do it. Examples of pure substances will include sulfur, iron, sugar, and table salt. And these, each of these substances is only one element will, or com <laughs> compound. <laughs> 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 they exist. The first two examples are elements. Thus, they are made up of atoms. <laughs> In a sample of sulfur, only one type of atom exists. <laughs> sulfur atoms. <laughs> Alright, that's enough of that's enough of science. It's now we're gonna have Rachel read from a magazine article. Not as sciencey or technical. So it should be easy for you. What? No, no, go ahead. Tell yours. Mike started the dairy farm with the help of his dad in 1971 after graduating from the, the university with a degree in economics and. <laughs> What was, that, what was that word? Economics? <laughs> Economics! Keep uh, going. He grew up on his parents' farm where they raised beef, cattle, and hogs and farmed 480 acres of. <laughs> <laughs> 488? You almost sounded Irish there for a second. <laughs> My dad wasn't a dairy farmer. But when I told him I wanted to start a dairy, he helped me start on one of his property with 40 cows. I never imagined I would one day milk 1,500. <laughs> <laughs> it just like keeps on going. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yelling. Yeah, yeah. You're yelling. <laughs> oh, sorry. The best way to explain the difference between heterogeneous and homogeneous mixtures is this by, by example. In experiment 4.1.1, you made up a mixture of salt and sand. No, wait. Sand and salt. When you first dumped the sand and the salt together, it was a heterogeneous mixture. <laughs> If you looked at one portion of the mixture, you might see mostly sea sands, whereas uh, 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 I can't. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, pick a passage. Pick a passage, any passage. Pick. Joan Russ Camp and her husband raised five children on their more what than one. <laughs> Joan Russ Camp and her husband raised five children on their more than 100-year-old family farm that feeds up to 4,000 head cat of cat cattle. Nebraskans eat their farm's beef, but until now she never met the consumers to answer their food question. Done! I'm not putting myself in that anymore. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright, let's try tongue twisters. Look, Ooh. Up, look up tongue twisters on your thingy. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pickle. <laughs> <laughs> a peck of pickle pickle. 
Tegap. Tegap, tegap, tegap. Start from the top. Start from the top. Start from the top. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle peppers. A peck of pickle pickle peppers. Stupid beads. There was a fish named Fisher who fished in some fish. In a fisher, till a fish with a grin pulled the fish and now they were fishing the fisher fish. What? Too many apps. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle peppers. If a peck of pickle pickle pepper, Peter Piper 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 picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pickle peppers, where's the peck of pickle pickle peck of Peter Piper picked? <laughs> just stop. Okay, just <laughs> I finished it. You did it was in English. You did or, not finish it. Oh, I know. I read through you it. You read through it. You didn't say it. It was like a pick a pick no, a pick a pick a pebble. Excuse pick -a -pick -a. me. I finished it. I, I have not no, been drinking. Here, here. No, I read it. I finished it. No, you didn't. And I have not been drinking. <laughs> I swear. There those thousand thinkers were thinking how did the other three three thieves go to go through? The too much TAs. Too much. <laughs> one one was a race horse. Two two was one two. One 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 the ra wait wait. One 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 race. Two two one 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 two. No. Wait. Too many numbers. One one was a racehorse. Two two was one one two. One 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 no one 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 race. Two two one one two. Thanks so much for watching our speech jammer video. I hope you had as much fun watching it as we had I, fun doing it. Laughing at each other. Which is what we do on a daily day basis. Daily day basis. <laughs> it's day still to day it's, basis. It's, it's still affecting me. But anyways, if you like this, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this collabing with Rachel doing these funny, silly internet challenges. And... Let's just say we're not going to do the ice bucket challenge. Because it's already fall. So we might catch cold. We're doing the ice bucket challenge. Oh, no, we're not. No, we're not. I'm a liar. So, um... Yeah. Goodbye.